Tonight on ABC, a new two-hour episode of 2020 exploring the life of Nikki Adamando, the mother of two who admitted to shooting and killing her partner, Chris Grover, in their upstate New York home back in September of 2017. Adamando is now serving seven years in prison for second-degree murder, but did she actually pull the trigger in self-defense after years of domestic violence at the hands of Grover, or did she stage the crime scene and the murder of her partner in cold blood? Well, she is now speaking out from prison, sitting down with our Nightline anchor, Juju Chang, in her first television interview since that fatal night. Here's a sneak peek. He said nobody would believe me. I was afraid that if I moved forward, nothing would happen, or very little, and then it would be more dangerous when he came back. I stayed as long as I did, trying to keep us all together until I couldn't anymore. Oh, and Juju Chang joins me now with more. These are always so intriguing. There's always more to the story, right, Juju? So, <laughs> absolutely, Kara. You know. And af after doing this interview, I I'm I'm curious what stood out to you. What caught your attention? What what made you feel? that you really needed to follow up on, things that maybe we have not heard before. Yeah, well, you know, like many stories that you and I have covered over the years, it's like peeling back layers of an onion, right? I mean, she's very soft-spoken. She's clearly still traumatized by the years of abuse, which were documented um, with photos and contemporaneous witness testimony and therapist remarks. She lived in terror, um, and she said she didn't report any of the abuse because she was afraid that either the violence would escalate or that she wouldn't be believed, which in essence is what happened in the court. Um, this is a classic example of how families can live on the outside picture perfect lives, right? She had this Instagram account, two young kids, a beautiful life, and her partner was a very popular gymnastics coach that was beloved by the community and by family. But over the years, people started seeing Nikki with bruises and with injuries, and that's where the, the, the story really unfolds. Wow. And, and this really rocked this small upstate New York town, didn't it? Absolutely. And it's just outside Poughkeepsie. You have to understand this is, you know, a family that's grieving. Chris Grover's parent, mother, still feels that justice was served. Um, Nikki was ultimately convicted of second degree murder. But what you start to unpack is that the jury wasn't allowed to see all of the evidence. And one of the, the areas that was particularly humiliating for Nikki was that she says she discovered that Chris was videotaping um, the physical and sexual abuse and posting it perhaps to uh, porn sites. And so that was a part of the testimony that was not entered into court. And so the jury wasn't allowed to see. I mean, when, when, when people interviewed jurors afterwards, they said, why didn't you believe Nikki's version of the domestic violence? They said they didn't understand why didn't she leave, which is a question that's asked of a lot of people who suffer domestic violence. And so it's really looking at how are victims of domestic violence treated within the criminal justice system. And so that's ultimately what tonight's story is about. And you, you explore that in a much deeper way. Absolutely. We start out by saying this isn't a who done it. This is a why done it. And this is really looking at, you know, and there are some people who think, was it self-defense or was it murder? And that is where, you know, this whole slew of what's called criminalized survivors, people who survive domestic violence by either acting in self-defense or fighting back and in so doing commit a crime. And so that is the whole, you know, caseload that's being re-examined through the eyes of domestic violence. All right, Juju Chang, thank you so much. We'll be watching Thanks, 2020. Thanks, Kira, I appreciate lots it. Of, yes, everybody always watches your, your pieces. Um, Thanks. We appreciate it. Thanks so, for being with us. So you can glad catch to more. Join you. <laughs> Ditto. 2020's all-new episode, including Juju's conversation with Nikki at Amondo. It will be tonight, 9 p.m., right here on ABC. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.